Hello and welcome back. Um, just my last video before two, 2019, so for anyone out there, um, Happy New Year. So this video is just a quick look at some of the market predictions for 2019 overall. Like I know I've done one for Bitcoin and one for XRP. Um, and this kind of, we'll be looking at what the market is going to look maybe five months into 2019, so May, um, June time, and what's going to look like. And um, just about to create this video, and I came across this fantastic article. But before we look at that, um, quick look at the market today. It's down. Uh, I mean, it's it's not down massively. It's, it's not much trading going on today. And again, in normal markets, it's been a very slow day. Um, 11 billion pounds which is what 14 billion dollars um, most coins are down slight percentage nothing to cry about um, few up you know mobile go I seem to see that quite a lot not too sure what that is I've not really looked at that project there are so many projects to look at unfortunately we can't look at them all and what's down massively nothing Dex decreed um, ones I'm not really looking at, Golem Town actually, and Zoe Zilliqa. Um, but on to the good news. So I just read this article that's on CCN, which I'll link in the description below. Um, so BACT raised $182 million in December alone. So this kind of article goes in talking about investors and um you know, getting high-profile investors to you know enter the market of crypto, or mainly Bitcoin, and um, you know it's kind of again not all about not all about Bitcoin price. Let's not look at that. And more notably, in December alone, kind of important there, BAT secured a one hundred eighty million dollar investment from major venture capital and technology conglomerates, and. Eris X and other US-based cryptocurrency futures market received 27.5 million from NASDAQ and Fidelity. So, you know, really good news. The fact that they're able to get that sort of investment in a, in a traditionally a time where things are slowing down. So hopefully we're still looking at the 24th of January um, date. There's not been any information on whether it's going to be delayed for a week or so due to the um, US government shutting down. Um, Things to look positive for backed. Uh, we'll know probably end of this week, next week, whether the 24th is still going to be a go. Regardless, it's it's all looking very positive, and I think that's going to help drive the market. I know I've spoken about this previously, and I not wanted to pin our hopes too much on that, um, but it will be a good start to 2019. I mean, like I mentioned in my Bitcoin prediction video. We would want Bitcoin in the five thousand dollars range, five and a half thousand, to really show a sort of bullish sentiment. That word sentiment is important. But I mean, with the XRP also having good news, EOS, uh, hopefully some good 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 news from uh, Ethereum regarding uh, Casper and Constantinople. Um, Twenty nineteen looks looking like it's going to be a good year. I mean. It all depends on market crash of traditional markets. And I've, I've mentioned this before, but again, the sentiment about bearish um, traditional markets and that may cause an impact on the uh, cryptocurrency market. I mean, it's really going to be a true test to see how Bitcoin does do if there is going to be a traditional market crash, whether the people throw their money into Bitcoin or altcoins or whether people throw their money into gold and we'll see that reflected in its price and its trading volume. So kind of my prediction for 2019 with the market, um, you know, we hit a market cap of around $800 billion at its peak last year, um, which was around, actually that was actually this year, so January time. So almost touching $800 billion, $795 billion it hit in January. It almost feels like it was last year. If things go the way I expect them to go, uh, and again, please take this as 
my opinion, not advice. Please do your own research. Um, I can only give you information. Um, you guys need to decide whether you're going to enter the market and what you're going to invest in. Please, um, as usual, predictions are, are, are just that. Um, you know, we got to 800 billion without any sort of investor confidence. In fact, it was the opposite. A lot of negative, negative information from the investors trying to possibly push that price down so they can get involved. And it seems like it succeeded. Everyone seems to be getting into the market when Bitcoin's down. Ordinarily, nobody gets to a market when, when things are going down. It's the opposite. People pull out and people are coming in. So that's always an interesting fact. But, um, you know, we're going to go past that. I think hopefully by around August, September time, we should be one to one and a half trillion with, with a T. Um, and, you know, we I expect the Bitcoin price to be obviously well past its 20,000. On those basis, it will be around 30 to 40,000. Uh, it kind of ranges on depending on whether... Um, what the Bitcoin dominance is and at the moment it's 51.8% 52% so on that sort of basis it would be an easy 40,000 um, it may be the case that people are throwing taking money out of Bitcoin Cash Bitcoin SV uh, whether anyone's still holding that and throwing their money into Bitcoin which is only going to increase the dominance and Again, if the Ethereum project doesn't go the way it's meant to go, people throw their money into Bitcoin. So, you know, I gave my prediction of what a ninety to one hundred and fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin by end of twenty nineteen. Um, you know, a, a forty fifty thousand dollar Bitcoin by August um, would be very nice, um, and that obviously plays into the fact that number two coin XRP and whether we'll be hitting a ten or ten or twelve dollar Bitcoin uh, XRP by. Uh, August time uh, will be fantastic, but I'm kind of focusing on the market as a whole. Money coming in, you know, when it whether it can get to the one to one and a half trillion dollars, and I think then once we get us up to that one one half trillion dollar market cap, um, small things of news will be insignificant. You know, making comments about comments from Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or the um, the negative people talking about crypto won't won't affect the price like it did or has done in 2018. Um, so we'll be able to stand alone by ourselves away from traditional markets and I'm really hoping it's going to be the case with, with 2019. I think a lot of analysts have um, spoke about 2019 being the year uh, for crypto. Um, so let's see. And... Um, as always, a very positive and all the, all the all the good projects we've got out there. We've got Bitcoin, XRP, uh, Ethereum, um, EOS. Even you've got Litecoin sponsoring UFC now. Well, one 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 main fight, two three two, um, and then the other ones like Cardano and uh, and um, IOTA have also got good news. So that's all been this year. So hopefully, twenty nineteen that gives us many many more positive news coming out from the market for these projects so um, i look forward to having a fantastic 2019 with everyone involved in crypto and i already hope it's going to be a prosperous year for cryptocurrency so um please like and subscribe and have a great 2019 okay thank you goodbye